Through my window I see such beautiful fall weather. All the leaves wandering to the ground, burning with color. Such heart-melting beauty. The way the wind kisses them away and lays them atop a blossoming sea of gold. Such beauty, such bliss. And this little body stopped. I see it in the distance, lying on the road. I'm not sure what I see is real or some bright deceit of the sun. It seems impossible. With all this beauty around, death should be lingering here. I don't want to start my day by staring at a dead body, so I... I check the mail. Thank God, no bills, nothing. Just that silent body, strange and frozen. Maybe it's only a large shirt that's been ripped. I decide to go and look. The wind picks up as I do so sending a series of yellowing flakes my way. As I move closer, I spot a nearby newspaper, torn from this morning. I lift it up, whereupon a striped snake that had been resting underneath slitters off. This is not good. I freeze in panic, letting the paper fall where it lay. My eyes fix on the front page, the bold print, attacked, struck, war. I wonder if the entertainment section might offer relief? No. I walk on wards. Yes, it is a body. White, tinged with red, its face turned to mine. I realize it's still alive. Its child eyes stare at me. I'm scared, sunk with what to do. I step over it and go past. I stop. I look back. Its face has turned in my direction, glaring. Its eyes seem to say, If you want to find me again, I'm the one eating carrots. After that, I decide to sit in a cafe the rest of the day and wait for winter.